Why in the world would that owl be up there three days in a row and not move? I, I couldn't figure it out. So I called the neighbor who lives over there and I said, Jeff, you've got an owl up on your power pole that's been up there for three days. He goes, no. He goes, yeah. So he said, let me see. So he came out and he came out with this huge spotlight. And he shines the spotlight up there and we all start laughing. It wasn't an owl at all. It was a reflective sticker on the, on the power box. <laughs> so the moral of the story is sometimes you've got to shine enough light on a subject to see what's really going on. <laughs> so uh, it's easier for me to have what I want to say written down because then I can keep, keep on track. While we consider the possibility, oh, I wanted to let you know, this is going to take about 20 minutes, so settle in. While we consider the possibility of what the state calls a community reentry center being placed in Kootenai County, it is imperative we also recognize the high rate of crimes that go un unresolved. For example, a New York report from September 18th stated nearly 40% of 15,657 murders that year nationwide have gone unsolved. 40%. It's just amazing. This information leads me to share some disturbing criminal justice system statistics gathered by both the National <coughs> Institute of Justice and the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network used to lay down a foundation leading to the number of crimes we could anticipate taking place in Kootenai County as a result of this facility being built here. Is, is there Jim Barrett? Is Jim Barrett here? Somebody? No? Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw out some numbers at you. Don't worry too much about what the numbers. I'm just doing that to get to the bottom number. It's the bottom number I want you to remember. And I'm just doing this to see how I got to that number. We'll start with 130 prisoners in a class. This number corresponds with the number of beds the state wants to put in this facility. Then we'll add in an 83% recidivism rate gathered from the National Institute of Justice data, which is the documented rate of reoffending that takes place within nine years of release from prison. These two numbers reveal a total of 108 reoffenders who will be housed in this facility at every, any given point in time. Based on data from the National Institute of Justice, on average, each felon will be reconvicted and, in, and reincarcerated for five new crimes within nine years. That brings us to a total of 540 new convictions and incarcerations from this one class of 130 prisoners in nine years' time.